Hi loves, welcome back to my channel, Peace with Sha, or go by Sha or Shalanda. If you are new, welcome to my channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you never miss an upload. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I'm glad that you are here today. Today I'm going to be talking about how I straighten my natural hair. Now, I'm going to show you a quick and easy method I use to straighten my natural hair. And this is a method I use if I'm in a rush, if I'm in a hurry. Um, and it's also something I use if I'm not really trying to have a super perfected uh, silk price, but still good enough to where I feel confident and where I feel like, you know, I did get my hair, in a sense, professionally done, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to be showing you the products firstly that I use, and then I'll be showing you my process. Um, so I first went about this process by cleansing my hair and deep conditioning my hair, and I used two products that I'm really falling in love with. Um, that's the Shea Moisture Power Green Shampoo. It's pretty bright, this light. And also the Shea Moisture Power Greens Reconstructor. I really love these products. I'll talk about them more in a whole nother video. But yeah, just so you know, this is what I use to wash and condition my hair. So following that, I definitely had to detangle my hair. And so I use my trusty dimming brush and a wide tooth comb. So you will see these throughout the video. And in addition to my brush and my comb, I also use these hair clips. Sometimes I can... Ah! <laughs> I just broke it! <laughs> okay, anyways, um, sometimes they can be very annoying. I did not expect it to break, but that is one way they can be very annoying. But sometimes um, they don't grip all the way, so perhaps if you want to use like a hair tie and or just a bob pin that will work as well you don't necessarily need these I think they probably work better for people with thicker hair and because my hair is not that thick and heavy I feel like they were effective but not as effective as I wanted them to be um, so following that I use this generic value product blowout spray and it's supposed to be compared to the Kenra blow dry spray and essentially it's just supposed to help the blow dry process be faster which I can attest to that and you'll see more so in the video. So this is what the spray looks like and I'll show you another clip of it as I'm using it in the video. Um, it was like $3. I got it on sale from Sally's and following that I used this silk element strength and sink strip and silk <laughs> coconut heat protecting spray with silk um, and this is a for relaxed and natural hair and it's essentially just a heat protectant and you can use it while you're before while you're blow drying your hair and then after when you're about to straighten your hair so you'll see me spray this on my hair um, while I'm blow drying it but also while I go and straighten my hair and last but certainly not least is the flat iron that I use. And I use this Baby Bliss Pro Titanium Flat Iron. <laughs> and I did get this from Sally's as well. Um, I will go ahead and tell you that I think I'm pretty sure I use the highest setting. Um, at the moment, at this point in my hair journey, I'm not necessarily concerned about heat damage. Um, that's a whole nother story for another day. If you are, please you will use a lower setting. Just know you might not get the results you want. However, I will also say that your results highly depend on your blow drying method and how effective you are at blow drying. So the better you blow dry your hair, the better the whole process will be once you go to straighten with your flat iron. Okay, let's get into Okay, so I'm not going to talk through the whole process, but I do want to just let you all know that um, I usually use a Denman brush because it really helps me get my tangles out. And when you use the Denman brush, and you can alternate between horizontal and vertical, um, but when you use it in this way, it really does help you really get your hair smooth and that's what you want before you go about your uh, blow dry process so this is me detangling my hair uh, while i have my deep conditioner that i showed you all earlier in my hair and i let this sit for about a long time not gonna lie um it doesn't matter how long but you know just deep condition your hair before you straighten your hair to make sure that you're adding moisture and or any type of structure that you need back to your hair 
So after this process, I then wash this out and I proceed to blow dry my hair. So when I blow dry my hair, I like to do the tension method, which you're going to see throughout. Um, and essentially, it's just you pulling your hair taut while you take the heat of the blow dryer up and down your hair shaft. And this helps you to have less friction on your hair um, as in comparison to like just right off the back combing your hair right off the back um, and it really for me helps to slow down not slow down to speed up my blow drying process so this is the generic um, Kenra blow drying spray that I showed you earlier I also think that this has helped me a lot with having faster um, drying time when I blow dry my hair okay I think that's all I wanted to say for now so I will come back to you later if anything else comes up but if not just Enjoy these next clips you're going to see. Okay, so again, here is the flat iron that I used, and it's the Baby Bliss Titanium Flat Iron. I do use the second to highest setting, I believe. I thought I used the highest one, but I didn't. And here's the Silk Elements um, Heat Protectant. Um, and so, yeah, I just mist this all over my hair. And when I straighten my hair, I like to follow through with a comb. Some people like to follow through with a brush. I find that a brush makes my hair more staticky and frizzy. Um, so I just like to use the comb and it also helps me if I have any like knots at the very, uh, tips of my hair. So you'll see me just do this process throughout.
Okay, so I usually just wrap my hair. Um, I did this hairstyle to prepare myself for another hairstyle, but if you want to put bump your hair or curl your hair, feel free to do that. But I'll just wrap my hair so I can lay flat the next day with still a little bit of volume. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that footage. Let me know what products you like to use when you straighten your hair. I would love to know um, as I just continue with this process of just playing with my hair, not being afraid to straighten it and do different hairstyles. So I really would like to know what you all use. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will catch you in my next video. As always, peace, love, and joy.